नमस्कार माई सेल्फ उमा शंकर दास वेलकम टू द डेली वेदर ब्रीफिंग ऑफ इंडिया मेट्रोलॉजिकल डिपार्टमेंट टूडे इज थर्टी एथ अगस्ट टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फाइव फर्स्ट विल टॉक अबाउट द वेदर हाईलाइट्स ऑफ नेक्स्ट सेवन डेज पर्टिकुलरली डू द डू टू द प्रेजेंस ऑफ वेस्टर्न डिस्टर्बेंस दे इज ए आइसोलेटेड हेवी रेनफॉल फे लाइकली टू कंटिन्यू ओवर नॉर्थ वेस्ट इंडिया ड्यूरिंग नेक्स्ट फोर टू फाइव डेज उथ आइसोलेटेड वेरी हेवी रेनफॉल ओवर जम्मू ऑन थर्टी एथ ओवर हिमाचल प्रदेश ऑन थर्टी एथ एंड थर्टी फास्ट अगस्ट ओवर उत्तराखंड ड्यूरिंग द पीरियड थर्टी एथ अगस्ट टू फास्ट सेप्टेम्बर एपार्ट फ्रम दैट द हेवी रेनफॉल लाइकली टू कंटिन्यू ओवर कंकन गोवा मध्य महाराष्ट्र गुजरात रिजन केरला एंड कोस्टल कर्नाटका दैट इज वेस्ट कोस्ट टिल थर्टी एथ ऑफ अगस्ट If you talk about the past 24 hours weather, particularly Gujarat region, South Bihar and West Bengal, West Uttar Pradesh, West Madhya Pradesh, Konkan and Madhya Maharashtra witness very heavy rainfall activity. That is, rainfall amounting 12 to 20 centimeter has been realized. Apart from that, if you talk about the weather systems in particularly now the WD Western disturbance now has a cyclonic circulation over North Pakistan and adjoining Punjab region in middle tropospheric level. Also, there is a cyclonic circulation of South Madhya Pradesh in lower tropospheric level, another over North Konkan region in middle tropospheric level. And if you talk about the monsoon trough, in particularly it is passing south of its normal position at mean sea level. Apart from that, it passes through Bikaner, Kota, Sioni, Durg. भवानी पटना देन गोपाल पुरुम एंड फ्रॉम दे आर टू ईस्ट साउथ ईस्ट डिरेक्शन टू सेंट्रल वे ऑफ बेकल बिकॉज ऑफ दिस वेदर सिस्टम वी आर एंटिसिपेटिंग वेरी हेवी रेनफॉल एक्टिविटी लाइकली टू एट आइसोलेटेड पॉकेट्स पर्टिकुलर जम्मू कश्मीर हिमाचल प्रदेश उत्तराखंड एंड पंजाब सो पर्टिकुलर नॉर्थ पंजाब सो ऑरेंज अलर्ट हैज बीन इश्यू टू दिस सब डिविजन एपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द वेस्ट मध्य प्रदेश गुजरात कुंकन मध्य महाराष्ट्र Also, sub Himalayan West Bengal, Arunachal Pradesh. There is also possibility of isolated very heavy rainfall activity. That is, rainfall amounting 12 to 10 cm, 20 cm at one or two places. Orange alert has been issued for these pockets. Apart from that, for heavy rainfall activity and uh, thunderstorm activity, orange alert has been issued to several uh, sub division of the country. If you talk about the day two, that is on 31st of August, there is possibility of isolated very heavy rainfall activity over uh, Uttarakhand. हिमाचल प्रदेश ऑल्सो ईस्ट राजस्थान सो ऑरेंज अलर्ट हेज बीन इश्यूड हाउ एवर ड्यू टू इम्पैक्ट एसोसिएटेड द हेवी रेनफॉल एक्टिविटी पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ हेवी रेनफॉल एक्टिविटी ओवर जम्मू ऑरेंज अलर्ट हेज बीन इश्यूड फॉर डे टू दैट इज थर्टी फर्स्ट ऑफ अगस्ट एज वेल ओवर सेंट्रल पार्ट्स ऑफ कंट्री एज वेल नॉर्थ ईस्टर्न ईस्टर्न पार्ट देर इज पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ आइसोलेटेड हेवी रेनफॉल एक्टिविटी एलॉंग विथ थंडरस्टर्म एक्टिविटी सो अलर्ट लेट हेज बीन इश्यूड दिज दिज सब डिविजन इफ यू टॉक अबाउट डे थ्री That is on 1st September. There is possibility of very heavy rainfall activity over Uttar Pradesh, over Uttarakhand. Uh, so orange alert has been issued. However, due to associated impact uh, for the continued rainfall activity over Jammu Kashmir, uh, for heavy rainfall, orange alert also has been issued. For uh, central parts of the country, as well as eastern parts, also northeastern, northwest, so possibility of heavy rainfall activity is there. So yellow alert has been several parts of the country. For day four, that is on second of September, there is no orange alert for any part of the country. However, thunderstorm activity along with heavy rainfall as uh, possibility is there over some sub divisions. If you talk about day five and the, from that is third of September, fourth of September, and fifth of September, there is possibility of isolated very heavy rainfall activity. over gujarat region so orange alert has been issued for central parts all as as well as eastern and north eastern state there is possibility of thunderstorm activity along with uh, isolated heavy rainfall activity so yellow alert has been issued for this as region you can look into the screen there is a, in the shaded region fishermen are advised not to venture into this there is there is a possibility of rough sea condition and squally weather over this region Uh, so fishermen are advised not to venture into this area apart from that impact ex- expected due to uh, heavy rainfall activity over several sub divisions along as, along with action suggested you can see in the screen for detail information you directly log in to mosam.imd.gov.in also you can follow us in social media platform x youtube facebook and instagram thank you namaskar